dear friends and students welcome back to my lecture session on elc in 21 days in this 21 lockdown period today is day 2 now we'll see more about uh, the plc in the second session now before that let me give you the recap what we have seen in yesterday the plc programmable logic controller when you choose the plc there are different types available now 220 volt ac 24 volt dc i choose 24 volt dc type of plc again th there are two types of uh, connectivity one is relay type other one is transistor type so i prefer relay type because uh, relay type can directly be connected with connected with all the appliances light fan motor anything right then the next uh, category is uh, between np and pnp so largely they use npn type of uh, plc only so i also choose npn type plc uses ladder logic it is a symbol based programming technique i already told you so what i am telling you now is the recap it follows octal number 0 to 7 10 to 17 the next set is uh, 20 to 27 like that it proceeds I will be using Mitsubishi compatible PLC board but here I will be showing some of the samples also other brands of uh, PLC brands also now. I am widely using 14MR PLC now, 14MR PLC stands, 14 stands for the sum of number of inputs and outputs. It has, this particular model has uh, 8 inputs and 6 outputs, so 8 plus 6 14. Then M R I do not know R stands for relay type. Instead of R, if it uh, if, if if they put T, that means it is a transistor type. I will show you the both the relay board and transistor board. Then uh, when it comes to the Mitsubishi programming, Mitsubishi programming the software for the Mitsubishi is uh, G X developer. G X developer. Okay, so in that the input uh, the symbol for the input is x so x0 to x7 symbol for output is y y0 to y5 for the 14 mr plc okay then i said already whether you are uh, you want to learn plc or arduino or uh, pic microcontroller or any other microcontrollers uh, basically for designing any project or a product there are three different things mechanical electrical and electronic design that is one part the another part is the electrical connection the third part is the programming for plc you should know plc programming for arduino you should know arduino programming so, so learning the first uh, uh, the uh, microcontroller program is the toughest one because you have to learn both the first part mechanical electrical electronic design you should understand the electrical connection connectivity you should understand no after that only you could proceed for plc ladder logic so from this it is evident that after learning plc suppose if you want to learn arduino already you covered two third okay so for arduino this one third alone is new and exclusive for arduino or any other uh, 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 microcontroller for this matter even for example in period of arduino if you want to learn uh, raspberry pi even for the raspberry pi the first two you already know i already knew it okay so uh, if you put only one third effort for the uh, raspberry pi okay you can easily learn the the other uh, new uh, microcontroller program called the uh, raspberry pi okay now we are in day 2 okay i let me put this in different color in day 2 we will see some of the things actually so, okay so let me close this one uh, simultaneously i opened my uh, mobile phone i am using my mobile phone as the web camera i will show some of the things actually okay so this is the original mitsubishi board actually okay so this side uh, you have number the screw points for the input this side you have the screw points for the output okay so it is a there is a label it is fs20r fx1s20mr that means 
uh, maybe it will be having 12 it is 20 mr i think you can see careful you can see clearly yes okay 20 mr you see we are in the lockdown period again i repeat whatever sources and resources available within at this point of time utilizing those resources i am running this show okay there may be some pitfalls kindly adjust with it my aim is you should understand you should know you should learn the concepts of the plc programming that is very important okay there may be some pitfalls kindly adjust with it okay so this 20 mr plc board is having uh, uh, 12 inputs and 8 outputs 12 plus 8 20 okay i'll keep it outside Uh, this is another brand called a delta plc uh, this is the symbol i think i do not know whether you are able to see that or not so here these are the pins uh, okay so you see dvp 14 ss2 dvp 14 ss2 14 means 8 input 6 output this is the port for connecting the the dvp cable with the computer okay so it is a delta brand it's also a branded one what i will be using here after all along is this one so this is also absolutely there is no difference between this with this original mitsubishi so this is original mitsubishi but this is a compatible board okay so absolutely the speed wise performance wise uh, features wise absolutely there is no difference between this mitsubishi original mitsubishi and mitsubishi compatible okay the only difference is uh, it is having a pakka cabinet but uh, this is not having the cabinet okay now you see here incidentally you have uh, uh, two ports here i think this video is uh, uh, this the video output is uh, somewhat uh, clear to you i believe okay you can insert the programming cable through this port rs232 port or a separate uh, port is also available in this particular model this side you can connect all the inputs eight inputs it has this side six outputs you see the sugar cube, sugar cube like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the relays mr that is why it is called 14 mr that is why it is called where is it 14 mr plc okay 14 mr plc okay so uh, with these things only you can connect all the inputs this side you can get the outputs through this now i'll show you a mitsubishi compatible transistor type board so this is the transistor type board here you'll be having the the the, the cubes these are the relay cubes actually but here it is not there these are the transistors 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 so 14 uh, outputs it has this side let me see it is 30 empty could you see that yes 30 is empty 30 means number of uh, sum of uh, inputs and outputs is equal to uh, 30 so 14 outputs plus 16 input 16 plus 40 is 30 m t t stands for transistor it is not relay type it is a transistor type so you see the transistors so this is the output side this is the input side in the output side uh, you cannot uh, directly switch on the uh, appliance this you cannot directly connect a light or a fan okay in bit you should have a separate relay for it okay if you want uh, i'll show you the relay also so this is the relay that you have to use additionally along with the transistor type board whereas if you take this one if you buy this one if you have this one already the relay is inside the board itself so you need not have a separate relay actually you need not buy a separate relay actually so that is why i prefer a 14 mr the relay type of uh, board actually okay let me keep these things outside now so this is the relay board and this is the programming cable this is the programming cable this is the rs232 
port the one side so connect this one and you can connect the other end the usb pin mail pin so you can connect it in the setup system okay so this is how you can use the thing okay now we'll see some more uh, parameters here so as i said already it normally open normally closed relay coil uh, this is a symbol for the relay coil this is a symbol for output timer counter uh, there are uh, some logic gates so it uh, it follows some logic gates actually so this is the logic gate for this is normally open you know if you write a symbol like this that is nothing but the or gate so these are the two inputs this is one output this is the and gate logic these are the two inputs and this is the single output let me throw you this luckily you have both the thing in the single page itself so let us let me tell you the difference between these two okay so if you if the switch a either switch a or switch b is on the output is on that is r circuit that is 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 1 1 is also 1 so if both a and b are off then only output is off otherwise if either a or b or both on output is on that is the or gate when it comes to and gate input a input b if both a and b is on then only output is on otherwise on all other occasions it is output is off state only not on state okay so let me show you tell you 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 1 0 is 0 1 1 alone is 1 okay so these are uh, some of the uh, parameters uh, that uh, it uses okay uh, in between uh, i will show you my video actually so uh, my smp is also running now it is a uh, three voltage output actually multiple output i can get it from this smps from this i can get the uh, uh, 5 volt output 5 volt dc 12 volt uh, dc 24 volt dc i already told you uh, i'll be select i'll be I have chosen already a 12 volt, 24 volt DC type of uh, yes, uh, uh, PLC board. Incidentally and luckily, luckily, this particular board is basically a 24 volt DC type actually. Okay, uh, but uh, it will it will work. It will run between the voltages voltage range of between 10 volt DC to 20. 8 volt dc uh, it is printed there actually it is not uh, you cannot uh, it is not visible for you actually right so uh, i can either use a 12 volt or, you can, or even i can go for 24 volt okay so these are some of the thing okay uh, then let me to show you this one uh, logic gates i will be skipping some so this is the wiring diagram of uh, this particular board this is the wiring diagram so so this side you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, screw points this is x0 x1 x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 this is the power supply for the board 0 volt and either 12 volt or 24 volt okay so that is what is mentioned here okay so x0 screw point x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 and 0 volt 10 to 28 volt this is exclusively especially for this particular board the plc fx 1n okay so but uh, generally all the other boards uh, will work only uh, under 24 volt dc only but incidentally this particular board takes voltage between 10 to 28 okay this side this side you have these screw points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 screw points we go back 
so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the notations are given like this c0 y0 meaning this c0 this c stands for not counter actually it is a connector so that means from the output whatever uh, power supply you give if the relay is on you can get that power this side so it acts as a switch the relay is here the relay cube is here this acts as a switch relay i already told you relay is a switch of course the difference between a uh, ordinary manual switch with this one is manual switch using your finger you will be switching on and off whereas this relay is again a switch is also a switch but it is electrically switching switching on and off by the plc that is the only difference okay so give a power supply okay this side when the relay is off you won't get the power on y0 if the relay is on you get the power on y0 whatever you give this side you know it will be connected here so you can take the power so that means if you connect uh, the, uh, the your light through this one this this like electrical wiring so that is why i said electrical wiring concepts you should understand very well so this plc will switch on y0 if the y0 is on that bulb is on so this is the connector this is so y c0 y0 is one set c1 y1 you give a, 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 a power this side if the relay 2 is on if relay y1 is on then y1 you can get the power from y1 so this is one block okay like that let me show you the next slide you see this is one block give a power supply this side get the power supply th this side on y side so this is controlled by plc okay if the if the uh, if the plc gives command uh, uh, like uh, switch on y0 means the y0 is switched on you get the power this side so this is block one this is block two the l again this is block three this is block four so the idea is uh, you can get uh, you can you get a power supply for c0 get the power, the same power supply as output in y0 give a separate power supply to c1 you will get that supply through y1 give a power supply through c2 this power supply is common for y2 and y3 for c it is c3 of course not c4 the c3 is common for y4 and y5 again why you have different connectors one two three four connectors it will be advantage I, I can say take for example so suppose say you want to uh, switch on a 12 volt motor you want to switch on a mobile uh, mobile phone adapter Motor mobile phone adapter is a 5 volt uh, uh, electrical motor is a, a toy motor is a 12 volt then your light is a 220 ac so the light and fan so you can use this y2 and y3 for light and fan because both light and fan works under 220 volt ac so for 5 volt adapter switching on the 5 volt adapter you can use this this block or this block even for 12 volt you can use the either this one that one okay the point here is so if in this block for example you cannot connect a 220 volt outlet and a 5 volt or 12 volt or other volt outlet here because already 220 volt is coming this side so you can get the 220 output uh, through y2 and y3 220 volt output only not other voltage types so that is why block wise you can choose okay block wise you can choose so let me give you the example you see carefully that these two lines actually these two lines are similar to these two lines for a bulb you have to connect line and neutral if you connect the line and neutral 220 volt ac the bulb will be glowing okay with it is not having any switch or socket or plug okay now slowly i'll be adding some more components so i added a switch i added a switch right so if the switch is on then only bulb is on now the switch is in off state so bulb will not is not on now i introduced a plug but no switch now i introduce a plug and a switch this okay you ins insert the plug in the socket so only if the switch is on then only the bulb is on so this switch is nothing but this one this act as a switch c0 y0 or c1 y1 or 
C2Y2 or C2Y3 or this is not C4 actually C3 C3Y4 or C3Y5 so connect this way okay you see C0 Y0 okay so instead of a manual switch you are using the relay available and present in the PLC board for getting the connection uh, for giving the connection and switching on the bulb so this is how you can give, give the connection actually okay now uh, shall we see the action now okay mm, let me switch off this one let me close this one here no I, I no longer require this one actually okay um, let me minimize all Uh, this is the GX developer actually okay so this is the GX developer version uh, some version version is not some important work is important you can have any version okay so let me show you the product information so it is a GX developer version 8.20 you can use any version of course okay if, the, if you have a latest version uh, your work will be easier that's it okay so this is how it looks the menu uh, uh, things will appear in uh, so many other fashions actually right so let me choose uh, a new project so new project in that the PLC series as I said earlier even if you take a, a uh, Bajaj the Bajaj uh, is uh, uh, delivering uh, many uh, uh, types of uh, two wheelers many types of bikes okay something like that so what I will be choosing is FX CPU type okay I am using FX 1 and C okay so these are important and I will be following a letter logic okay so now slowly I will be introducing a command okay so if you choose this one then only uh, this is nothing but this board is nothing but uh, fx 1 and c actually fx 1 and c you can see somewhere here you can see somewhere here yeah, it is not i can't locate uh, completely but of course it is something similar to that okay so press ok immediately the end button appear now I want to introduce some line okay so this is the ladder logic this is the left side of the ladder this is the right side of the ladder uh, it will scan always from the top left to the bottom right the scanning will be very fast the greatest advantage I already told you it will the it will be processing uh, multiple it will do multiple action PLC will be have a doing multiple action at a time uh, in that aspect the Arduino lacks it Arduino at a time only one action it will execute not multiple actions at a time but uh, PLC is uh, doing multiple actions at a time so that is why even uh, I know both uh, PLC and Arduino uh, in my view PLC is the best but uh, generally what uh, people will be thinking you know latest is the best it is not so whether it is latest or oldest which is the best you have to choose okay so don't look at uh, what is latest and what is oldest but look at what is the best okay again I repeat what is best is not what is best is so important what is latest or what is oldest is not so important okay okay now we'll come to the program for, yeah, I have to insert a new line for that shift insert I'll be introducing uh, some new lines okay then I'll be using a open contact okay I'll be using a open contact let this be x0 let this be x0 okay so for this let let us take this example this switch is my input I'll be using this switch here with this this is the x this is the x okay that is the x if x0 is on uh, this is the coil output 
y0 that's it okay if x0 is on y0 is on if x0 is off y0 is off right it is a first and the basic uh, command that will be that we will be using it okay for compiling there is one command called convert convert is the nothing but the compilation okay or f4 you can press f4 so it is if there is a if there is a error you will get a error message somewhere here since it is not having error it compiled and it is ready for programming okay so shall we go live uh, using uh, giving the connection for this one so this is x0 i showed this is the x0 right for y0 i am using this uh, led this led okay so this is my this is my power supply unit this is my uh, plc board this is the input x0 this is the led output it works under 12 volt incidentally even though it works under 24 volt dc type this particular uh, uh, board it, it will work under 12 volt system also so i can give the power 12 volt power supply from here both to this and to this whereas this switch is a potential free unit the switch here uh, exercise uh, 1 x0 on means y0 on so that is the concept that is a concept okay that is a concept here i'll be using a push button then 12 volt led strip so 12 volt led strip is my y0 push button is my x0 x0 this switch is of uh, potential free type what is what is mean by potential free type potential free type means uh, you did not uh, 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 give a separate power supply to use this particular button but this requires power supply when the when you when it gets 12 volt uh, in 12 volt power supply then only the leds will be on led is on otherwise led is not on so it has it has some pot it needs potential it needs power supply it, this doesn't require any power supply yeah input devices that doesn't require any potential uh, power supply no those are all there's those are called potential free type whereas i will show you some more thing okay i'll be showing this also now uh, this is nothing but uh, 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 inductive proximity sensor okay instead of uh, this switch you can use this one you can use this one okay instead of switch okay we, we in this exercise we'll be showing both okay so let me give some connection okay let, uh, for the connection part uh, uh, I don't have a different color uh, OS actually. So for both the positive and negative, I'll be using both the single color wires only. Okay. So I'll be taking some time. These are the pins for this is a plus twelve volt supply. Uh, here uh, this is 0 and this is plus 12 plus 12 should be connected with uh, the output you know this is the power strip Uh, 
since this is a very first exercise uh, it is bit it will be bit slow i will be doing it lively uh here what i will be doing is uh, let me remove this one because this requires uh, some connection no of course uh, the socket the usb socket is loose uh, for the uh, my mobile phone connection okay so one end is connected to zero volt here in the for the switch the other end must be connected with y0 uh, x0 sorry so other end must be connected with x0 so this is x0 so uh, this one i need one more wire so here after i need not require this wire i put it somewhere outside here this is minus you know be careful uh, that does not be any short circuit so so this is positive supply mm, i need uh, some more wire of course be shared in the positive y0 c for the y this requires some five uh, the positive connection no plus 12 volt it requires to switch on the led i'll explain later about the wire connections so positive connection at the c0 at the c0 so we have given all the connections here right
so once again i check it this is the plus connection the plus you have to send it to uh, you have to if you connect here the power will be supplied here and the power is supplied to the plus 12 volts is supplied to this uh, c is one to the output side now this is the input supply zero volt supply actually so the zero volt you need zero volt at three places zero volt should be given to the switch it is a potential free and uh, the output of this potential free to be connected with x0 right and uh, this uh, uh, you have to give a zero connection to the led also okay now uh, the my uh, thing is in running condition now it is on now actually okay so you have to be very careful you should not give any wrong connection actually so here uh, plus 12 volt is v2 is the plus 12 this is the v2 actually power supply so v2 is given here okay for v1 for the ground already yeah, wire don't follow the color don't worry about the color now okay the moment i touch it is connected disconnected okay so now you see the plc board is on the plc board is on okay so plc board is on okay now if you want if you see can check this already it is uh, the default program is uh, this is the default program of course actually now if you see that if i press this button the led will be glowing if i release so now you see i am pressing i will be releasing okay uh, uh, this is the program it is already there in the plc of, of course okay what i could do is instead of this program i will straight away open a new file already i have a timer file actually uh, don't think that i uh, will be bit faster okay i will i'll tell you let me tell you how to use these things okay uh, timer basics no so for time being uh, let this be so x0 m0 this is called uh, a latching program okay so first i'll show this one i'll fuse this one okay because already the if i press this one uh, this is already there okay so uh, i'm afraid uh, you'll be so i'll be using m0 also you know m0 is a internal relay of course m m stands for internal or auxiliary relay y is a physical relay y is a physical output m is a imaginary output or internal output m you can have any number of input ms okay so if x0 is on instead of y0 i put m0 m0 is on m0 is latched i'll tell you latch program later okay uh, m0 will be the moment the m0 is on it will trigger the timer this is the timer circuit t0 is a timer 0 you can have any number of timers roughly 200 timers you can have so it will be it will function till 40 100 millisecond that means 4 seconds okay when the m0 is on in those occasions only y0 is on so y0 is m0 will be on only for the 4 second duration after that it will be off after that it will be off because the t0 will uh, cut off the m0 okay I will show you this one. Okay, I am not. I am afraid you will be. You will. I. I did not teach about what is M, what is T now. But anyway, let me uh, uh, fuse this program. Okay, then after that, uh, I'll. I'll teach you how to 
uh, write a program slowly okay so now i am inserting the i have inserted the, the cable then i have i am about i have inserted the usb pin onto my laptop now onto my laptop now now how to fuse this particular program how to fuse this particular program go before uh, running the program first of all whether you have got the connection rigidly or not that you should understand for that use the transfer setup uh, now it is connected at uh, com15 let if you see it shows uh, com4 is not specified unusable com4 is specified i think uh, the my as per my connection uh, it is uh, com9 if i believe let me check connection test for the te connection test it is not 9 i think it must be 8 it is not even 8 uh, 9 it is it is 8 i think the port must be matching otherwise you cannot you see successfully connected f1 x1 cpu okay now it is successfully connected then in that online write this particular program onto this okay write this content and execute now it is executed the program is executed now now you see previously when i pressed this button it is on when i remove the button uh, when i depress the button that is off but as per this statement now the if i press x0 the y0 will be on for 4 seconds then it is off okay shall we see that okay now i just press and release my finger i release my finger it will run for 4 seconds then after 4 seconds it will be off you see that now again i repeat i did not teach you about what is m what is t but maybe in the tomorrow session i will tell you what i am showing you now is only a demonstration okay only demonstration so i will take uh, some, uh, another uh, 2 minutes uh, extra time okay uh, to explain about uh, uh, blinking type of uh, thing t0 t1 m1 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 uh, here uh, let me put uh, only one second 10 means one second one means point one second again uh, this is t1 okay so t2 sorry t1 t2 m2 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 t2 t2 then insert okay let me compile this one now you see whenever m0 and m2 is on on those two occasions y0 is on okay that means m0 is for one second m1 is for one second m2 is for one second okay the meaning is the uh, it will blink one time uh, two times it blinks then it will be off then it will be off okay shall we compile go to online so before that uh, let me check once again 
so this is program 1 after pressing it will glow for one four seconds it is off okay now i am writing a new program here again you have a button for writing the program in plc now see my screen now i press and release one second on one second off again one second on that's it right suppose uh, this cycle should repeat forever this cycle should repeat forever means uh, this is final of course okay t2 t3 m3 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 t3 here i'll be typing t3 Okay, so this will be running continuously. This will be running continuously. Again, I go back. I pressed and released. That's it. Okay, so with that, I'll wind up. Okay, this is the third program, of course. I think you may think that uh, it will be confusing one now. Okay, maybe in the tomorrow session I will explain more about what is uh, how efficiently you can use X, Y, M, T, etc. So third program I am running, of course. It will blink continuously. Now you see. So I pressed and released. Okay. So this is how you can run a, write a program uh, for controlling any devices. In place of this LED, you can put your, you can switch on your light and any appliances actually, right? So I think this is sufficient for time being, okay? So happy learning, good day. Thank you.